Continuing our coverage surrounding that deadly bear attack near Livingston last week, friends of Craig Cluter continue to mourn his death. And as MTN's Russ Riesinger reports, they're also raising money to help his family through this tough time. People in Livingston band together. People crowded inside the RX coffee shop in Livingston and cars lined up outside. Today we are dedicating Tuesday to Craig. The shop is donating money from all of Tuesday's sales to the family of Craig Kluter, a guy who they were accustomed to seeing every Tuesday, their delivery day. He was always just so happy to be here. We, you know, we'd always get him his coffee and he used to joke about, can I just come back there and work with you guys for just a couple days a week? I love that. The 40-year-old Livingston man had been hunting for shed antlers in the Six Mile Creek area when he met an awful end, the victim of a bear attack. FWP says it doesn't appear that Kluter used bear spray or a gun to try and defend himself. The agency also says the bear, which hasn't been found, won't be killed because this does not appear to have been a predatory attack. It's believed that it was a grizzly, but that won't be certain until lab results of hair taken from the scene come back. One thing is certain, Cluter will be missed. When we started this whole thing, I saw a young man that I was excited to help mold and sculpt and have impact in his life. And five months ago, I could have never, ever dreamt the impact he would have in mine. Um, sorry. <laughs> he, uh, Every day he got in our car with a smile on his face and he left our car with a smile on his face. As a, as a human being, he was just, they don't come any better and, and uh, we were just so happy to have somebody of that character and that those qualities be part of our family and our team. Kluter leaves behind a wife and four kids and a lot of sad friends. A silent auction will be held at the Livingston Civic Center on April 10th, beginning at 5 in the evening for the Kluter family.